What's up, mentorship maniacs? This is Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Today, we're, I'm talking to you guys, you guys, you guys. I hate this. I hate the phrase, you guys. I fucking hate it. It should be you, not you guys. We're going to get into that in a second. So we're talking about communication. We're talking about you guys. And speaking and communication skills, not talking to you guys, but talking to individuals. So first, before we get started, let me just say, if you need to get communication and speaking skills from me, then you know you hit rock bottom because that is one of my biggest weaknesses over the last few years. But so I guess the first point here is that you need to work on your weaknesses, right? There's a thought process out there that you, whatever your strengths are, you should focus just on your strengths. Forget about your weaknesses because it's going to take up too much time and effort and energy and frustration and stress to get better at your weaknesses for a minimal increase. I think that that's pretty much bullshit. Sure, you're going to focus on your strengths. You're going to do what you're good at. You might delegate and hire out some other stuff, your weaknesses, but certain things, especially like communication and speaking, that's like integral part of you growing your empire. You just need it because you need a team around you that you need to work and have discipline to work on some of these skills. That's the first lesson. Don't just ignore your weaknesses because even a tiny fucking pin in the bottom of your your, your ship can still will will still eventually sink your ship. So... We're talking about speaking and communicating today. I still have a long way to go. I still consider it one of my weaknesses, but it's one billion times better than it used to be. And it's some of the things I'm going to talk about right now that we're going to go over, we're going to train on, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to practice and study on. So first, when you're speaking to a group or you're speaking on a video, just like this, a live video, or just a video that you're recording for some content that you're going to release, you could be at a team meeting. Or maybe it's a sales consultation. Maybe it's a group sales, a group closing type thing. Whatever it is, speaking and communication, you need to work on the skills. You need to get better at it. The key to doing it, the key to doing you when you're speaking in a group or even one-on-one -on -one individual is to speak directly to each individual. I don't care if it's a thousand fucking people in the crowd, in the group. You need to speak to each one of them individually. You, you need to. Speak to each one individually. See how it goes? I'm looking straight at the camera. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to everyone else in the group. I'm talking to you. I'm not just saying you guys with this broad range where I'm just throwing it out there to cover all the bases. I'm speaking directly to you because you need to hear it from me. We need to have direct communication so you can relate to it. You can understand what we're talking about and it makes sense to you. I just flipped the camera next accident. All right. So it's, it's like... Talking in a, a private conversation that just happens to be held publicly in a group, in front of a group. That's what basically what we're talking about here. A, a private conversation being held publicly. So I'm talking to you, not you guys. I'm looking straight at the camera, talking to you, speaking directly to you so you can relate to it. Directly to you as an individual. And you need to think about who you're talking to, what's in it for them. They need to know what's in it for them personally. And not just for the large masses. They need to know how is what you're talking about, what you're teaching them, what you're speaking about is going to directly relate to them, not the people around them. They don't give a fuck about the people around them. They're worried about what's in for them. They don't give a fuck about your story. No one gives a fuck about your story. You know what I mean? I mean, people do, but in general, they're worried about what's in it for them. They need to know what's in it for them. And you need to limit the, the eyes and the me's. When you're telling us, when you're telling a story or when you're training on someone, cause again, they don't give a fuck what's in it for them. There's a saying, Joel Weldon says, so what and who cares when you're talking? Everything you say, think of so what and who cares? You need to drive home the point. Let them relate to it. So I'm going to tell you a, a quick story, two different times, two different ways. And you'll see what I'm talking about. The difference here between I, 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 me, 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 or you, 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 them, them, them. So when I, I was 16. In New York, you should be able to get a driver's license when you were 16. I just got my driver's license after I failed the first time, but that's besides the point. Just got my driver's license when I was 16. Just got a new job. Two days after getting my driver's license, my father was drunk as fuck, and he was going to try and... He was going to drive... I needed a ride to work. So I didn't want him to drive me. I wanted to drive... I, I, so I just wanted to borrow his car. He's drunk. No, I'm just saying he's just going to drive me because he wanted his car because he probably needed to go out to get some more beers or whatever the fuck. So he wanted to drive me. I didn't want to get in the car with him because I don't want to be late to work. I'm not even thinking about getting injured or, or dying or something. I'm just thinking that he's drunk. He's going to crash or he's going to get pulled over and go to jail. I'm going to be late for this new job. I don't want to be late for this new job. So I'm asking him. And so he finally, we get a, a big fight and screaming, cursing. 
He gives me the keys to the car. I convince him, somehow persuade him, influence him to let me use the car. Five minutes later, he gets a call that I wrecked the car. I trashed the car like three blocks from the house. A car hit me head on. Boom. Crushed the car. He gets a friend to bring him over there. He gets shows up to the scene of the accident. Curses me out. Causes a big scene. Drunk as fuck. Only concerned about his car. Doesn't give a fuck about me or if I'm even alive. You look at the car. You think someone's dead inside that car the way it was fucked up. And sorry. So you got the point of that story, right? Now I'm going to tell you just a quicker, quick version of that just from a different perspective. Now think, think about this. Imagine this. Imagine you just got your driver's license and you just got a Brent, your first job and you need a ride to work and your father is drunk as fuck. Just imagine what's going to be going through your head at that time. You need to get to work. You finally convince your father after screaming and shouting to let you use the keys to his car. He gives you the keys to his car and you crash the car five minutes later, wreck it, total it. It's total. That car's never driven again. Imagine what's going to be going through your head. How are you going to be feeling? You're going to be, you're now late to work. You just crashed your father's car. He's get, he shows up there. He's screaming at you, making a huge scene in front of the police. People are coming out from the neighborhood. They're seeing this whole scene going on. Imagine what's going to be going through your head. How are you going to be feeling? All right. I just told you two different versions of that story. One was I, 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 me, me, me. One, I put you in the shoes of that person, which happened to be me in a personal story. You could relate to it much better. So think about that when you're speaking or even when you're doing your marketing, when you're doing your videos and your marketing, when you're telling your personal story even. Sure, you're going to say it in the I format sometimes, but you need to also learn how to let people relate to it. Put them in your shoes. Let them think about what it feels like. So just doing little tweaks like that can have like such a huge impact on your speaking to your team, to lunch and learns. You're going to speak in front of other companies in one-on-one sales consultations, whatever we're talking about, group sales consultations, Facebook Live videos, videos just like this, anything like that, speak to you. I'm speaking directly to you. Not all these other freaks around me. I'm speaking to you. Get it? You get it? Get the point? All right, we beat that one up enough. So speak to them as individuals because they need to see that you have concern about them as an individual, not just about big, massive numbers. They're not some number. They are an individual, and they need to see that. So you need to develop and master your speaking and communication skills. And now I've just improved from the shithole that I was in in communication and speaking. I have a long fucking way to go. And I understand that. And I'll keep working on it every fucking day because it's so important to grow your team, to build your team for marketing. It's the key to sales. It's the key to leadership. It's the key to your marketing. It's the key to friendships and relationships. Now, friendships, number four there, I have a little problem with. I need to work on that one. I have no fucking friends. So the speaking and communication improvements that I've made have not helped me make any more friends. So I need to go find some friends. But that's besides the point. The point is you need to have the discipline to improve this skill. The discipline to improve it. We know we talk about delegate and automate a lot of stuff. There's just certain things that can't be delegated and automated. There's also most things in your business, you should at least learn an overview of it and the basics of how to do it. So when you do delegate it, it can be monitored and you know if it's even doing being done right or done good enough. So you should have a good overall knowledge of how to do anything in your business. And especially speaking and communicating. No one can do that for you. No one can be you. You can't delegate you. So you need to have discipline to improve your speaking and communication skills. You just need to do it. It's just mandatory. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your fucking income. It's going to change your world around you is what it's going to do. So you need to practice it, study it, master speaking and communication in all these different areas. I guarantee it's going to boost your performance, your sales, your income, your impact, your relationships, everything. It's going to pump up. It's going to boost it all. This is the Mentorship Motivator. I will talk to you soon. You are fucking awesome. See you. You. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.